Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for February 13th, 2023. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you're all doing awesome today. Your first card is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse in the heart space. Letting something go, but it can also mean feeling trapped, feeling stuck. Um, feeling stuck between four walls, not knowing how to get out. Um, so you could have let go of something, but you're still kind of like mentally let go of something. Or emotionally let go of something, but still not feeling like you have a lot of options. The Three of Cups and Inspiration. So somebody wants to have fun. Someone wants to get out and not care, just feel joy and happiness. Someone really needs to get outside and have some fun. Mm -hmm. I think it'll make someone feel less trapped. It'll make someone feel better. See some friends, talk to some friends. Yeah, someone feels like they, they need some lightness, they need some happiness, some joy, some frivolity. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Something's going too slow. Someone's getting educated. Someone's learning. Someone's understanding something. Someone's building um, a foundation. Could be an educational foundation or literal, physical. The High Priestess in the upright in intuition. So someone is very psychic. Someone's very connected. They're hearing something. They're listening. They're listening to their intuition. They're waiting for the right time for something. They're staying silent while they're gaining this education. But someone wants to go and let off some steam here because they're feeling a little bit housebound or trapped or they're stuck at work. They want to get off work. They want to go out. They're waiting for something. They're waiting for the sound of something. They're ready or getting ready. The Ten of Pentacles in the upright in closure or in action, stability, waiting for money. Someone's waiting for word about some money, a lot of money, Ten of Pentacles. Stability, again, about to celebrate. Okay, so there's something coming that's really good, <laughs> really good. Like there could be money coming, a job coming, Tens are also endings. It's like the end of something. Someone's waiting for word. And it's kind of like they're feeling anxious or they don't know what to do with their energy. Like they're, they're, they're stuck somewhere and they're waiting for this happiness, for this understanding, for this slow moving thing. They're listening for some kind of stability, some kind of windfall, money, family, tradition waiting silently waiting for something good to happen wow the four of wands in the upright so celebration again wedding engagement baby shower happy home two happy home cards someone's waiting to go home someone's in like a little room Someone could be waiting to get out of the hospital or out of somewhere. Someone's waiting to get out of somewhere. They're going to celebrate. They're feeling good. It might have taken a long time and they're waiting for some kind of word about this stability, Ten of Pentacles, health even. And then the Four of Wands in the upright. So more celebration, everybody happy, everyone in agreement, um, a good foundation. The Hierophant in the reverse. This feels like ill health. This feels like someone is in the hospital and is waiting to get out, is waiting to get some kind of word, or they're waiting to get out of somewhere because someone wasn't well, or this is some kind of um, situation that they're in, a large corporation or government, church, university. Um, it's not right for them. They're, they're, they're literally being pushed out and they're going to be so happy. So someone could be waiting until their last day at work. Uh, maybe they like, they're going to a new job 
or they're going somewhere else. Because where they are is not right for them. That could mean a divorce, a breakup. Someone could be stuck in a relationship. They're waiting to get out. But they're waiting to get out of something that was not right for them, the higher font. Um, there could be a real difference of belief systems or even a difference in cultures. But someone is in the wrong place. I just keep seeing that, um, that kid's toy, that blue and red ball with all the shapes cut out and you, you know, you try and put the shapes in, someone forced themselves or someone found themselves like in that ball, in the wrong shape, stuck in the wrong place, stuck in the wrong place, but they're waiting. They're going to get out. They're going to get a severance or they're going to get a bunch of money or this could be a house. Someone's waiting to get out of the wrong house and into the right house. Celebration. Yeah, it just feels really good over here. The Queen of Cups in the reverse behind you. So this feels like someone could be leaving someone behind here that's very sad or upset or mad. But someone's not saying anything. Um, these people might not be speaking. Someone's going somewhere that is right for them, that's going to make them very happy. Slow and steady wins the race. Whew, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is definitely not the right place for this person, this Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This person that, oh, like I feel out of breath. Like they, they want to bust out of this little room, this wrong little room. Like it really does feel, well, it could be anything. Um, definitely... A lot of people involved so they could be mad at a lot of people ten of cups in the reverse or they're very sad or they're very upset um, it could be this group of people or family community that's they might feel like this community is mad at them as well um, there could be people that are like um, not speaking to this person that is a round peg in a square hole or vice versa. This just does not fit. It's not personal. It's just, they just don't fit here. They have completely opposite views or completely different views. So I feel like this person is about to, I don't know, they're gonna make peace with it and they're gonna have fun with it and they're, they're going to um, build their own sense of security with this 10 of pentacles and the four of wands, slowly building themselves up or they're gonna like spring out like a jack-in-the-box and they're upsetting this Queen of Cups in the reverse and this Ten of Cups in the reverse and this Hierophant in the reverse. So yeah, this person is ejecting from wherever they are. Two of Pentacles in the reverse they can no longer juggle. They could be broke. So the advice. They might not have a choice. Because they feel so, this feels so wrong. It does, it feels so wrong in this person's core. Ten of Cups in the reverse, everyone's mad at them or they're upset or whatever. Their people are not happy. Four of Pentacles in the reverse in their heart space. They're they're feeling very constricted. But they've also let go of resentment or something. They've let something go, but now they're physically stuck. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't have enough money. Or hmm. Or this Hierophant in the reverse, this um, corrupt false idol, false prophet, corrupt government is draining their bank account. Okay, so this keeps coming up. The high priestess, they're listening, they're paying attention, they're waiting, they're silent. They're going to capitalize on something, Ten of Pentacles. That's the action, waiting for the right moment to reclaim something. It feels like an inheritance. 
There could be an inheritance there. And that is going to spring someone out of somewhere into celebration. Finally, after something has taken a long time, the Knight of Pentacles, um, and having no money. Someone's going from being broke to being very stable. Not just financially, but also socially. This looks like a lot of celebration. Someone feels timid to approach this celebration. That Knight of Pentacles. There's somebody there that wants to bring you something. Um, someone that wants to add to the party. Maybe it's a potluck. There's going to be some kind of celebration after a lot of being in the wrong place with the wrong people, I think. And you have the Eight of Swords in the upright at the bottom of the deck. So that's a mental prison. That's um, thinking there's no way out, but there is. There is a way out. You just have to open your eyes. You have to look. You have to open your eyes and see this family, see this agreement, see this stability. So there's someone here that feels like they need to get out of a certain place, but they really don't. Or there's someone here that feels like they can't get out of a certain place, but they can. They have to free their mind. Um, that Three of Cups beside the Eight of Swords, it feels like you need to lighten up a little bit and then you'll see the Four of Wands beneath you, which is stability, which is um, everyone actually, like there, it feels like there's like a lot of people that, okay, it feels like someone is such a loner that they don't socialize and they think people don't like them, um, but they do people actually do like them. This person is very, they've, they've had choices removed from them. Um, it, it feels like the external world is encroaching onto this person and or has been in the past. There's been like a sister or a friend or a girlfriend. She's sad. She's not part of this. So I also feel like someone doesn't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk. They're not going to share their um, Three of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. They're not going to share it. They're going to keep it a secret. But um, yeah, this person is sliding into stability out of being broke, out of having to count every coin there could have been um, there could have been a family that is really upset for some reason somebody could have let someone down there could have been a family that let this person down and it, it kind of feels like this person is waiting for a call from these people it feels like these people are the same people the Ten of Pentacles in the upright and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So it feels like this person, there's like a forgiveness that needs to happen here and this person isn't gonna say anything, this person. This person is. And there's some kind of reconciliation, reunion and agreement coming to terms, coming to, coming out of this resentment and into this mutual joy and celebration and understanding. So there, yeah, that, that's the same family. It, it feels like this Four of Pentacles might have been this Queen of Cups in the past turned away waiting to hear from this family and they never did. So then this four of pentacles is resentful and sad and has no options. 
could have been in a very tight spot here with the hair font. Something to do with the government or authority, corrupt authority. So people could be starting to understand and gather around. People are switching. Um, I don't want to say switching sides, but they're coming from judgment to understanding. But there are a whole bunch of um, hard feelings, reconciliation of feelings that have to take place before this can happen. Um, for this family or this group, this traditional group and this person, she's waiting, she's listening, she's thinking, she's, she's um, healing. So somebody goes from being stuck in a little room, kind of crying her eyes out, not knowing um, what to do not having any options, not having any choices in a place that's not right for her or him. But somebody finds the joy in the situation, in the moment. They get a really good understanding, um, maybe of themselves. They grow into this high priestess, this person that hears things, senses things, intuits things, foresees things. So she foresees this Ten of Pentacles, this tradition, this stability, this abundance. Definitely stability. She foresees that. This is what came out of this sadness or out of this, um, like it feels like this family, this could be in the past, was almost standing against her because she was unorthodox. Because she was this seer or telepathic person. So this family and her are at odds, right? But there's going to be some kind of reconciliation. There's, there's understanding that's happening about the fact that she didn't have any options, she didn't have any choices about some kind of situation. And then here comes this reconciliation and this four of wands, this celebration of this stability of this family or of just getting this abundance. And this is all happening without speaking. There's like a... Um, it's like a telepathic argument almost happening between this person and this group of people that feel like family, family members. Um, they could have been judging her because of this spiritual, yeah, it, they could have been scared of it, or they didn't understand it. Anyway, there is a telepathic reconciliation happening as this person forgives they have to let go of this ten of cups in the reverse that's also escaping this person escaped from these people escaped from this family that's what's in her head her head is to escape but they're in her head like there's um like i said there's a telepathic communication going on here they didn't understand her. Um, like it sounds like it could be very traditional people that are not understanding um, spirituality, supernatural, unexplainable, but they love this person. This person is part of the family, part of this group. So they rejected her, so she escaped into herself, into trying to find the joy in every day, um, maybe into friends, new friends, understanding herself, understanding a subject that pertains to herself, trying to understand herself. Yeah, 
this is being confused. So there's less confusion here. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So it feels like someone who has a really good grasp on themselves, but they, they're, they're not attached to the earth. They're not attached to these people. And it feels like that's, it's the right time for that, or it's about to be the right time for that. It's in the process. There's a reconciliation, a 5D um, astral reconciliation going on with family and this person. This person feels almost, like it feels like she was cast out and and now she doesn't feel like she's fixed anywhere. Like she doesn't know where she belongs. There are friends like calling her, asking her to, to hang out, to be in agreement with them, to be in some kind of understanding with them. This feels really good. Like it feels like friendship. It feels like friendship with these people, with this family, or maybe it's with new people, but there's some kind of forgiveness and understanding going on with this family of origin, I think and no one's saying a word. Someone's remembering how much they like this person, how much joy this person brings them. This person is thinking the same thing. So there's a mutual like, there's, an, there's a mutual love between this person that has been cast out or was shunned in the past by these people, family, work, I don't know what they are, but there's a, a bunch of people. There could be like 20 people um, or 10 people if these are the same, but there's a lot of people. It's a community. They don't understand this person and I think they were afraid of her because she's, she could be witchy, but she's very giving and sweet and joyful and understanding and quiet. So they're starting to understand her and they're, they want to accept her. I feel like they want to accept her. I feel like they might miss her, two of pentacles in the reverse. Um, and I feel like she misses them too, but I feel like she's a little further, um, she's, she's still listening. She's like, keep talking, keep talking. Because she is still 10 of cups in her head in the reverse. So she's not quite ready to reconcile with these people. But keep talking in the astral. That's what I'm getting. All right, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day, bye.